Uh, you know, people who uh, defend evolution theory and uh, this Big Bang idea and uh, say it's all naturalism and creation is false and blah, 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 materialism is true. You know, they invented dark matter a long time ago to plug the holes in their early Big Bang theories, and they've been applying it as a fixer, a filler to all the holes in all their secular theories ever since, you know, to try to argue away from creation. But it just gets more funny. Ah, yes, dark matter, one of Neff's greatest passions, and one of the ever-diminishing hiding places for his god. Poor old Neff totally ignores the fact that there are, and always will be, unknowns, both out in the cosmos and here on Earth, and that known unknowns have to be allocated some description or other. So to describe something that has a gravitational influence, yet which cannot be detected, why not dark matter? And what does Neff do every time science comes up with some new information regards dark matter? Well, he makes another video, albeit while seemingly under the influence of his other great passion. To save any would-be viewers of enduring almost 15 minutes of his latest outburst, I can inform you that the whole thing can easily be condensed down to one simple statement of God done it. And isn't it funny that so-called secular scientists, that's just plain scientists to you and me, release studies into the public domain on dark matter that challenges some of the previously held views of other so-called secular scientists. Of course, that's how real science works. Yet creationists insist that scientists always indulge in cover-ups. That's almost as funny as when they try to link astronomy and cosmology with biological evolution. But then again, that's creationist for you. Anyhow, let's cut to the chase. I am the bringer of great exciting news for Neff. There has been a scientific study in Ireland that addresses both of his passions of dark matter and drink. Yes, it takes the Irish to know where the real scientific issues lie. They have solved the mystery of why bubbles in stout beers i.e. dark matter, such as Guinness, sink rather than rise, as we'd all expect them to do. It seems it is simply down to the shape of the glass. Yes, not God, but the glass shape. For those interested, more detail can be found in the link in the description. So, there you are, Neff. Scientists have unraveled the secrets of dark matter. Where are you going to hide your imaginary friend now? Well, dark matters, man. This what's doing. You don't understand nothing about science. Uh, blah, 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 blah. After completing this study, we know far less about dark matter than we did before. <laughs> yeah, the dark side. Welcome to the dark side, Luke Skywalker. Luke, welcome to the dark side. <sighs> That's dark matter for you. <laughs> the matter of dark matter has been solved. Next up, the search for Neff's grey matter.